What's happening, Booth Junkies? Mike Delgadio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. Okay, fine, I am not Mike Delgadio, you caught me, good job. But today I am reviewing this guy, the CAD Equitech E100S, which in my eyes is synonymous with Booth Junkie. And if you are interested in picking this up, it will set you back around $500. Like always, I'll throw some links down below. And for this review, I have the microphone connected directly to the Focusrite 18i20 with the 48 volts phantom power turned on and the gain set just at about noon. I will not do any kind of post processing, but I may boost it in post. So check the doobly doo to see what I diddly did. Now let's talk about about what comes in the box. First off, everything comes in this really nice wooden storage box which has cutouts and foam and feels like it's really going to protect the microphone. You do get the microphone. The mounting system is previously installed but it doesn't come with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch adapter. You'll get some documentation and a couple of extra rubber band things for the shock mount in case one breaks or you lose it. Then, as far as the build quality, the microphone feels pretty good, which it should given the $500 price tag. It has an all metal body with this rubberized finish, which feels really nice to the touch and makes it very non-slippery. It also has a metal mesh grill, which looks like it's double or triple layered to help disperse some of the air going into it and reduce a little bit of those plosives. On the front, you will also find two switches, the first one being a negative 10 decibel pad in case you're recording any loud sound sources, and secondly, an 80 hertz high pass filter. As I already mentioned, the shock mount is previously installed right when you pull it out of the box, and that mount has 5 8 inch threading, and the XLR port is on the rear bottom portion of the microphone. Then as far as the specs, this thing has a super cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 40 hertz to 18 kilohertz, which is pretty much dead flat up until around four and a half kilohertz, and then boop, you get a little presence treble and air boost. It's got a sensitivity of approximately negative 30 dB, a max SPL of 150 decibels when the pad is engaged, a self noise of only 3.7 dBA, which is insanely quiet, an impedance of 150 ohms, and a phantom power requirement of plus 48 volts. Now I'm spinning around the E100S to show you what the off-axis rejection and coloration is. We will go ahead and continue moving around the microphone to 180 degrees, show you what it sounds like here. Continue moving around the microphone to the second 90 degree angle, and then we will rotate and end at the front of the microphone. Right now, I'm about three inches off of the microphone without the high pass filter engaged, and this is how the audio is sounding. And now I'm at the exact same distance with the exact same gain setting, but I have engaged the 80 hertz high pass filter, which should reduce some of that proximity effect, making it sound a little bit more natural and reducing some of that rumble or boominess due to the proximity effect. Of course, we will go ahead and test the plosives, so please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Please bring pizza pronto. Oh, that hurts so bad. Now I'm right on top of the microphone in the neutral mode to show you the proximity effect of this thing. Still at the exact same position, but I have engaged the 80 hertz high pass filter now to really show you what it does to reduce the proximity effect. Back in neutral mode, about three inches away from my mouth, and this is how it sounds. About one foot away from the microphone. Dose feet away from the microphone, quattro feet away from the microphone. Now I am typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And because I know some of y'all are elite gamers, now I am just typing on the DAWs keys. Now, because the microphone is such a weird shape, you're not going to be able to buy any shock mount and just throw this in it. You're pretty much stuck with the shock mount it comes with. So let's go ahead and bump the desk, see how it does at rejecting that noise. And then we'll go ahead and bump the microphone arm, see how it does at rejecting that. <laughs>
cat doesn't seem to only make crappy mics that I really hate at all. I'm talking about you, one. <laughs> Get it? I'm so sorry. Really. Hi, my name's Mike Delgadio, and I really like this microphone. <laughs> But really, I actually do like this microphone quite a lot. And first up, in terms of pros, the microphone has an excellent self-noise coming in at only 3.7 dBA. The shock mount on this thing also did a really excellent job at rejecting bumps of the desk or the boom arm. And the tone of this microphone is just insanely smooth, even though it has a big boost in the presence treble and air region. And then in terms of cons... The plosives. I absolutely hated this thing when I was doing the plosive test. It was awful. And now as far as my overall thoughts, for the distorted guitar, I really wasn't a big fan of it because it started to sound a little bit muddy and loose and boxy in the low end, even with the 80 hertz high pass filter on it. But for the clean guitar underneath the singing test, I thought it offered a very smooth tone that worked really well. Next up for the acoustic guitar, I really, really liked it here because I loved the full and warm low end, and then it has that big boost in the high end, which just adds some shimmer and life to the acoustic, which I just thought was really flattering on that instrument. Then for singing, this microphone provides a very smooth, very bright, and very detailed sound, maybe a little bit on the sibilant side, but at no point does it get harsh. It maintains that really smooth sound that is very pleasant to listen to. And lastly, for spoken word, I would just describe the sound of this as articulate, if that makes any sense, because that really big boost in the top end makes it a very detailed sounding microphone, but it has that nice warm low end when you really engage that proximity effect to offset that and maintain a smooth sound, which is nice to listen to. And I also really liked that the 80 hertz high pass filter didn't thin out the voice too much. It just tames some of the boominess due to the proximity effect. Really nice implementation there. And to wrap up, would I recommend this microphone? Both yes and no. And we'll start with a no. If you are looking to record more metal and punk guitars with a lot of distortion, I don't think this microphone really works well for that because it does get a little bit muddy and boxy even with the high pass filter enabled. And I think there are better mics out there for that application and for that genre. But on the other hand, if you're looking for a microphone to record slightly overdriven guitars, clean guitars, or acoustic instruments, absolutely I would recommend it there because it does offer a smooth sound while breathing life into it with that big presence treble and air boost. It just makes it really interesting to listen to, and I think it works well in that arena. And lastly, if you're looking for a microphone for spoken word or singing, I would absolutely recommend this, especially if you're looking for a microphone with a warm low end and a lot of detail up top without ever sounding harsh or brittle or shrill. It's just all around a really nice and smooth sounding microphone for the voice. But if you are getting this, I would recommend picking up one or two or five pop filters because <laughs> my God. That was painful to listen to. All right, that is going to wrap up for today. So if you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a big old thumbs down. Want more videos? You can subscribe by clicking that logo down beneath me. And if you want to financially support this channel because I'm buying $500 microphones and my God, I need it. So if you do want to help out that way, you can click that red join button. It's five bucks a month and you get a bunch of different perks. So check that out. And that'll be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next time. Bye.